Hey, what's up homies, you Fragman here. Welcome to another fragrance review video. Great news guys, my sense of smell is back. I can actually smell things now. I can pick out notes better. So I apologize for the gallery of part from first impressions. I know it's not as in depth as you're probably used to by now, but I'm back. And today I wanted to finally talk about that second imaginary author's fragrance that I talked about a bit, a whiff of waffle cone. So this one is still relatively new. I'm pretty sure it's only been out for about a month now. And I was really nervous about this one. Um, with Decision Decisions, it kind of just got like thrown at me. I got it completely randomly as a sample because I always include, I think, one extra sample in every order. Um, but this one, I, I was just really curious by. And I got to say, I was surprised. Let me kind of remind myself what it smelled like. So... It kind of smells like how I thought it was going to, but better. I, I had very low expectations. I do like ice cream, but I'm not really the craziest ice cream fan, but I was shocked that I liked this so much and I got a lot of good feedback for it. So uh, you probably already know now that I like it a lot, but let's just dive in. So let's start with like what this fragrance is about, what it's for. Um, this scent was actually exclusively exclusively made for a company in Oregon called Salt and Straw. They're an upcoming ice cream brand. Um, they're not in Texas as far as I know, so I'd never heard of them, but that's why this scent was made. Um, let's talk about um, the actual story because you know each scent is based on a story. Um, this one is based on an ice cream shop with mysterious powers. And every time people get a scoop from, salt, uh, from the ice cream shop, they get like transported to different points in their life and stuff like that. So that's kind of what the story was about. It's not exactly, um, definitely go to their website and check it out. Um, for notes, we got vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amyris, I hope I'm saying that right, or guillot, I hope I'm saying that right, Saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop being that mysterious imaginary note. So by those notes, let's talk about the ones that I'm pretty sure most people don't know. Amyris is actually just a flower with a really strong resinous scent. And resins are usually a little bit like sweeter, a little bit darker. And you can definitely get that, especially when it starts dragging down like it is now. It's a little bit darker. The sweetness kind of goes over it a bit, but you can still smell those resins. It's not like in your face strong or anything like that, which is nice. I like that. That's what make this makes this fragrance shocker very wearable, like way more wearable than you're probably thinking. And the other one is Orgiat, which I do not know if that's how you say that, um, but it's actually a syrup with an almond-like taste and smell. And that's something you do pick up as well. Um, with this fragrance, you really can pick out all those individual notes, which I love. That, that's not me saying it's not well blended. It's me saying I can actually smell this stuff now, which is amazing. Almond is one of those notes that's not used as much as I wish it would. Um, just like the Guerlain line, which is amazing. This almond note is very prominent. Mixed with that cinnamon that adds that sweet, spicy facet to it. And this, oh, the, that sweetness. The sweetness is kind of like Memoirs of a Trespasser, where it's so much more natural. It's not as synthetic as other vanillas would be, like from Versace Eros, which I'm pretty sure I brought that up in the past too. It's a very wearable scent. And the website, um, Imaginary Authors, also says, With a decadent complexity and warmth, this extremely wearable scent will make you a desi as desirable as a luxurious scoop from salt and straw. Don't blame us if the lime forms. And I'm not kidding you, I've gotten a ton of compliments with this. A fragrance where I could never imagine myself wearing normally, just like any time of the day. Um, like I said, it is very wearable, but I probably would not wear this when it's really, really hot outside. Unless I had like, I was in, a, in the office or something like that, a temperature controlled environment. But this is, this works. Like, women love this set on me. I remember when I was at um, my local bank getting some accounts set up. She, the, the, the woman that was helping me out was obsessed with this. She thought it smelled delicious and was just like asking me like, what is it? What is, what is it? I want to get this for my boyfriend and told her, never heard of imaginary authors before. Um, yeah, uh, girls really like this. So guys out there, if you're interested in something a little bit more different, a little bit more daring in my opinion, but it, it's, it's not super feminine. I still think this is very unisex, which is dope. Um, and yeah, like I said, it, it's delicious. Um, I wouldn't call it like a full-on gourmand, but it's it still is very tasty. Like, 
It straight up smells like ice cream with a dash of cinnamon and almonds thrown on top of it, which is beautiful. I love it. I'm shocked that I liked it so much. And the longevity is great, actually. I got about seven hours with it. Never completely became a skin scent. It, it kind of just floated a little bit closer by that seven hour mark, but the projection is wild. She could smell this through her mask sitting across the table with me, you know, like not moving or anything, which is crazy. Um, still can't believe she picked that up, but yeah, this one's awesome. I highly recommend it if you want something on the more gourmand side of things, man, something a little bit different. This is awesome. I actually think I like this more than Decisions Decisions personally. And this, this, as you can see the sample, I've been trying to conserve it as much as possible, but it's really cool and I highly recommend it. But with that, thanks for coming guys. I will see y'all next time.